Hi, it's the Doll Circle, and we're doing an awesome Sailor Moon review. This is the SH Figure Art Sailor Moon Zero Crystal figure. That's a long a title, but she looks pretty. She <laughs> is. So, a couple years ago, they started making Sailor Moon Figure Arts, which are po super poseable of the original Sailor Moon figure. So, I think they're up to everybody. They even have. I think everybody's out yeah, now. Yeah. No, Sailor Pluto is, hasn't come out yet. Is it the last one? Pretty much. Because Chibi Moon's out, Tuxedo, like everybody thinks They out. just released Super Sailor Moon, Sailor V's going to be coming out, maybe even released some other variants, so there's a lot. Sailor Pluto is on her way, um, and then they'll probably just make new versions new of versions them. Yeah. them in like school outfits or something. Exactly, or something, but they're really detailed. Now, a figure art zero is not poseable. But who cares? Because she's still studying. And I just like her picture on the back. Like, I'm sure you guys have a picture. Like, she's like glittering in the back. I mm -hmm. like that a lot. So, so if you don't know, Sailor Moon Crystal is the new Sailor Moon series that just finished up uh, recently, like a couple months ago. Yeah, I think and just recently wrapped it's up. It's amazing! It's on Hulu still, right? Hulu, Country Roll, Neon Alley, pretty much anything animation. So if you guys didn't get a chance to see the original like Sailor Moon stuff when it did it's come out, at least Hulu. you can see the new... Basically it's the same thing, but it's just like redone, so it's a little... It's kind of like... Standard def versus HD of like the no, overall no, design. No, 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 no. Like it it's doesn't much look better. better. Well, it's much better. But I'm just saying, like in the overall like appearance wise, they look more like crisp and clear and bright. They and, are, but they're redesigned know. to look more like the manga, which is and the story of Crystal follows the manga clo more closer. Closely yeah, so it's more like like true yes. story. And yes. so there's not like a lot of filler episodes or anything like a straight story for the most part. It's amazing. Can I get the next time? So uh, let's just open it. So she looks like she literally just came out of my TV. That's how awesome they she is. They did a good job of translating it off the mm -hmm. Crystal line. Like, she, like if looking at this, I know it's from Crystal and not from another series. Right. You not know just what I mean? Like her face, her, yes. like the coloring. I love how it goes from like dark to translucent on the ends of the hair. So it gives it like that flowy. Angelic. Angelic. Yeah. <laughs> it's so pretty. And I like the color. It's very mm -hmm. shiny too. Yes. We're not, our, unfortunately our Japanese is not up to par to read this, so we're not 100% sure what she's made of, but she's very heavy and yeah, it's I very thought, thick all the way yeah. through. I thought she might have been like PVC. Of course it's plastic, yeah. but there's other types of I thought of it might have been like PVC, but it definitely doesn't have that PVC feel, so I don't know if it's like a new type of resin. I don't know what nah, they're doing. it's too bendable. Like it actually has like a little gate Well, I can see it. it in the hair, yeah, but the she rest of it. She could also be made of multiple materials. Yeah. If anybody knows, comment though. We're interested because I'm like, it does feel like a really unique plastic though. She is though. She's super detailed. Mm, yeah, and I love the stand too. You're like, show the back on there. Look how cute that is. She's like, make sure to focus on that little bow in the back. It's so cute. And she has little pegs on her feet, so she actually does stand in the stand very well. <laughs> and she's not wobbly because I have no. had some dolls that don't stand on their pegs she's very well. Dead. I just like her face, though, and it's like, no, I don't see any misses on the paint, either. Nope. Because sometimes with figures, you know, yeah. it happens, a little splash of paint here or there, she you know. She is on point, and she is gorgeous. I am so happy that I got her. You she look is... at her little fingers. Like, her fingers are just, like, yeah. very well played. I've, I've noticed when it comes to, like, uh like Japanese models and figures like they all their their paint jobs are normally like on point you don't yes. there's not many blemishes on it unlike if they sold that like an American I like version it'd I feel be... like their standards are maybe a little I don't want to say higher than other places that mass produce because obviously these are produced in large numbers but I just feel like with these like they're just really I feel like for, I feel like for the, higher, I, I feel like for the community that actually buys these things uh you know they 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 will spend more on a quality item than say here in the U.S. Well, I mean, mainly a lot of people do here buy them in the U.S., but I feel like it. Was, like I agree though on the fact but that, like, I mean that people producing. going into the anime community, they know like I'm buying this really nice figure. I will pay this one. You said was forty nine ninety nine yes. roughly. Like, like going into this, like I'm paying fifty dollars. It better be yeah. painted to buy well, to so. buy like PVC, like say like a PVC uh, uh, model that I want to get for like some series that I like. They can range from you know fifty bucks up to like three hundred to four hundred dollars. Yeah. But you know you're getting quality, and that's mm -hmm. one thing with this piece. Like I feel like it is. <laughs> it is. Like it just. I get it. My favorite piece is definitely the hair. I don't know if it picks it up really well here. Like see how it's like from the dark to the light. I love that. It looks like water, even though I know it's supposed to be just kind of like moving through the air and stuff, and it's kind of having like that even, look to it. Even the way like her stance, the way they have her um, 
her outfit. Her like, kind of, like... Blowing in the wind. Blow, yes, and her skirt's kind of blowing up a little, which... <laughs> Adding a little bit of that appeal to it. <laughs> but I like it, though. So it's really, really good detailing to yes. it, though. So comment if you guys are big fans of the figure arts. Um, I only have, like, I think Sailor Moon and Mars, I think, yeah. from the two. Yeah. So she doesn't really come with any these. accessories, like the regular figure arts. She doesn't obviously come with any face plates or... In changeable hands since she's not so just changeable. So she's, she's a, a statue. Just yes, a figure, a statue. But it's still really. Can I though. say she's amazing anymore in this <laughs> video? Because she is amazing, and it really pains me not to be able to open her because I had to wait to come over here to review her. We wanted to do more Sailor Moon reviews because a lot of people I know are fans of their, I mean, just like we are, of Sailor Moon. So we wanted to expand and like show you guys some more reviews. It's been a while. I think we haven't reviewed Sailor Moon stuff since your Sailor Venus figure yes. from like forever ago. So we want to definitely share that with you guys. So comment, what do you guys think of this particular figure art zero figure? So it's a little from the crystal line. So it's a little mm -hmm. different than the other ones. Um, as always, make sure to check out all of our social media and our second channel, The Toy Circle. So if you guys want to see more Sailor Moon, comment because Robin buys a lot of Sailor Moon stuff and she'll Horror. definitely be happy to share it with you guys. So comment and we'll do it. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>